Aloha everybody. This is Gabe from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back. Mahalo for watching. This is an update on Fisher 10, which starts about right there and goes all the way 600 feet in that direction. And we got some interesting colors right here. There wasn't a whole lot of lava that came out of Fisher 10, but it's 600 feet long. And there's some interesting lava formations right here. And then also a few lava trees. There's one right here. It's an interesting lava tree. It's where the tree was surrounded by lava and then burnt out. And here's another one right here. So that's pretty cool. It's a hole in the ground. We usually use these for outhouses here in Hawaii because they typically go, you know, 30 feet, 20 feet in the ground. So this is Fisher 10, and there's some steam and heat definitely emitting from this fissure. Some steam over here, and the SO2 has killed a lot of the plants. As you can see, there's a lot of plant die-off, and it has burnt some of the plants. You can see this tree, this ohia I'm standing on, was burnt at its base and then fell down. The base was weakened, and it fell down. This one, right here, this ohia, same thing. It fell down because of the lava, burnt the base of it. And this one somehow survived, but it did look like, or it does look like it caught on fire. But it survived. It's still standing. Well, I shouldn't say survived. I should say it's still standing. This looks dead. So we are looking at Fisher 10, August 16th, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And there's not a whole lot of lava that came out of this fissure. But like I was saying, it's 600 feet long, and it goes to a couple more properties in this direction. It goes through a couple more properties. And it has really died down. There's a, not a lot of SO2 here. I don't really smell it. I just see steam. And I feel heat from that steam. This is the clearest I've seen this property in months. Bef you know, a couple months ago, this place was just really smoky and lots of SO2. So I'm gonna go walk over and check out these cracks. Whew, that was kind of hot. Always be careful when you step. This stuff is really, really sharp. This lava rock is really sharp. And there's definitely heat coming from here. Well, there's a lot of heat. Fogged up my glasses. But the majority of the heat is coming from the majority of the heat is coming from this crack right here. The ground is really soft right here and it's hot. I'd say that's probably a hundred degrees, I would guess. I fogged up the lens real good. Yeah. So this is my buddy's property. And we're stepping on teflon cinder, like a Pele's hair cinder. Common sound here nowadays. 
and this is the end of Fisher 10 right there or at least on this side the other end is over there through the bushes on my buddy's property on the other side but we're not allowed to go there because it's a no-go zone and this place is clearing up barely any smoke or steam I don't smell any sulfur so that's a good thing but you can still see the heat I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but that's a lot of heat right there probably see the heat waves yeah I'm gonna go check that out see how hot that is because that looks pretty hot there's sulfur right here A lot of movement in the ground on this property. Oh yeah, that's a lot of heat. It's pretty hot. Sulfur deposit, but I don't smell any sulfur. Eh, maybe it's just a tad, but not really. It's more steam and heat. You can see over here, it almost looks like Christmas. Sulfur has covered the plants in a white sulfur like substance. Interesting. A lot of sulfur right here. Look at that. That's amazing. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up, but this is really interesting colors. See the sulfur build up all over the plants and the trees. Okay, well I'm going to wrap this video right here. I want to thank you for all your thoughts and prayers. And thank you for donating to my GoFundMe campaign. That was really awesome. Thank you guys. I'm almost at my goal. And I'll provide a link in the description box to my GoFundMe campaign. And that would be much appreciated because there is no work around here since the lava has taken most of the properties in Leilani. And I want to thank all of y'all for watching. And until next time, a hooey ho!